This is an 11-foot 8 bridge, formerly known as the Norfolk Grayson Street Overpass, nicknamed the Can Opener. What it is, is a small bridge, but not so small, it's also quite tall, but not tall enough for these trucks we saw earlier to get through. What is happening is that drivers think that the bridge is tall enough so they can go through, to realize that they are totally screwed. But the thing is that many ask why can't it be raised, well that is not an easy task, the 78 year old bridge along the South Grayson Street provides only 11 feet and 8 inches of clearance, or 3.56 meters of vertical clearance. It cannot be raised because of a nearby railroad crossings would also have to be raised with it. The street also can't be lowered because the major sewer lines run only 1.2 meters under Grayson Street. Despite numerous signs and warning devices, a truck crashes into the bridge on average at least once a month. Most crashes involve rental trucks, even though rental agencies warned renters about the underheight bridges in the area. Jürgenhen, who works in a nearby office, mounted a video camera to record the crashes and posted them on YouTube. The videos gradually attracted the attention of a local TV station and eventually progressed to international media attention. The bridge is one of several under-height bridges in the area that trucks frequently crash into. However, the videos became viral and brought this particular bridge into international media attention, including a front page coverage in the Wall Street Journal and on an episode of Comedy Central show Tosh O. As of January 2018, there have been no deaths and only three minor injuries at the bridge. Since April 2008, he has recorded over 100 crashes, leading officials to considerate on more urgent safety issues. A heavy steel beam protects the bridge from overheight trucks, but does nothing to prevent crashes or protect the trucks. The crash beam has been hit so often that it had to be replaced at least once. The Transportation Department of the City of Durham maintains Grayson Street, which runs under the bridge. The city installed height detectors on Grayson, a block before the bridge. When an overheight truck passes a detector, yellow warning lights flash to alert the drivers of trucks that will not clear the low underpass. However, many drivers fail to heed the warnings and crash into the bridge. The problem is complicated by the location of Peabody Street, which runs parallel to the tracks and intersects Grayson Street. Just before the bridge, not all trucks traveling on Grayson will continue under the bridge. Some large trucks must turn right onto Peabody Street to make their deliveries. Overheight trucks are allowed on Grayson as long as they turn just before the bridge. In May 2016, the city attempted to solve the problem by installing a traffic signal at the intersection, removing the yellow warning lights in return. When an overheight truck approaches, the light turns yellow, then red, and a screen displays the message, over height must turn. The light will eventually turn green again, even if the truck driver chooses not to turn. The city hoped the long delay would give drivers time to realize their trucks would not fit under the bridge. However, trucks continued to hit the bridge despite this. Thanks for watching, and hope you liked this video. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye.